Hi guys, welcome back to another video and first of all, what is going on? Two uploads in two days is mental to me. Um, this never normally happens, well recently. It's going to be a simple video. It's going to be the Bright ranking Brighton players last year on a tier list. I actually did this video last year, uh, linked in below if you haven't seen it or whatever, just go on my channel, Google it, whatever. I really enjoyed how the video came out. I liked the editing of it and I liked all that. And I also think I can probably blabber on. Uh, I could do a competition of... I could talk for ages. I could win a competition about talking about Brighton players. So yeah, it might be a long video, it might not. Let's see. Um, it's about, that's about it, really. Uh, so yeah, let, without further ado, let's get into the video. N let's not just yet. Um, Tom McGill and Kamari Doyle, Kamari Doyle are on this list. They haven't played a Premier League game, or any game, I don't think, for Brighton this season. So, for for uh, good reason, they're not going to be ranked. They'll just be left at the bottom. All right, now let's get into the video. So, as you can see on the screen right now, we have got five categories, the exact same time as last, the exact same ones as last time. We have got get him gone, basically not good enough, you know. Yeah, meh, decent, uh, very good, and absolute class, obviously. Absolute class being the best, get him gone being the worst. So this one here, it's actually done like Defender's Order, which actually works out a bit better than last year. I think it was actually alphabetical last year. Let's start off with the two goalkeepers, Bart Verbruggen and Jason Steele. For me this year, Bart Verbruggen has been the better goalkeeper. I love Steele. I love his, you know, like his oh, professionalism, if that's a word. Uh, I think, for me, Bart Verbruggen goes in... I don't know. It's either decent or very good... <sighs> I think De I'm gonna put him in decent. He's been it'll be this year he'll be prove massive for us. I know that already. I'm very confident in him. I think his in the Euros he was quality youngest ever goalkeeper in the competition for six years, so he's not a bad keeper, obviously. Um he's good with the ball at his feet, he's good at shot stopping, uh he's definitely the better goalkeeper out of them and still obviously with De Zerbi he was rotating and I think this year it'll be Hertzler who will just play with Bruggen, hopefully. Again, as I said, I like Still. I think he's a really good professional. He's been on the bench for how many years? And like his chances come, and he's take chances come, and he's taking it. Um, but no, for me, I think Bart Bart Verbruggen either goes in either of these categories. But I also think maybe Steele goes in there, or maybe you do that. Uh, let's do let's do this. Yeah, as I said about Jason Steele, he's he's a good keeper on his day. Obviously, uh, I. I was at one point in the season playing still over Verbruggen. I thought Steele was the better goalkeeper. Uh, I don't appre I don't think the hate towards Steele was that necessary. You know, he's not absolutely. He's not tragic. There's so many worse goalkeepers out there uh, in the Premier League. But yeah, I think I think that's fair for the two of them. Now we'll move on to the defenders. And first of all, we'll have Tarek Lamptey this year. I'm trying to think of what Tarek Lamptey's actually done this year. Uh, not a great deal. Let's put him in there. Like, Tarek Lamptey, quality player in his day, but he's just not been very good this year. I mean, yeah, he's, but he's just so injury prone and he's not... He, he's but Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to put him a decent just because of, like, when he played left back. So, like, his Man United performance, which is probably about it. But, no, I think he's been all right. He's, he, Lamptey has had better seasons than this. I think he'd be admitted it. I think he would admit it. Can't get my words out. I think he's just, yeah, he's just so either really good or really bad. There's no in between. Um, I do love him. I think he's he's obviously a quality player on his day. We all know that. I think when you play him further forward, he's actually better than when he is at uh, when he's at right back. But no, met decent. Yeah, fair enough. Igor next. Igor's been quality this year, actually. To be fair. He's made a couple mistakes, which makes me lead to put him in a decent. There'd be a lot of decent. Um, yeah. Igor, this year, obviously, first year's in the Prem. It's not going to be easy, and he's kind of settled in. He's had to play left-back at times. He's obviously had to play left-centre-back. I think he's been quality. He's been solid. He's he's done enough to warrant him being in decent and not anything lower. Um, yeah, he's, he came for £15 million. Pound. Yeah, probably, probably worth it, maybe... I don't know. He's he's all right. He's just bang average, really. Adam Webster for me goes in meh. If he would have gone and get him gone, if it wasn't for the past couple of games he played, like his Chelsea performance, like his Villa performance, they were both really good quality. I mean, he's 
he's obviously, he's still got a good player in him. We all know how good Webb Dean he is. But he's just, I think this year he could be very vital in this in this uh, Hurt system, depending on if we keep him or not. He seems like a very good, like, likeable person behind the scenes. He's got he's got good leadership, he's got good experience. But yeah, he just didn't really play enough last year due to the two other centre-backs that we're going to go on to talk about. But yeah, for me, Webby goes in there. So, Lewis Dunk next. I think Lewis Dunk would admit himself that I'm going to put him in decent. It's not been his best season in an Albion shirt. I think injuries, you know, he's getting, getting a bit older. Uh, for me personally... Obviously, I'm buzzing that he's in this. He was in the England Euro squad, but for me, you could have put any Lewis Dunk out of any of the other teams, out of any of the other seasons. You know, like your 17, 18, your 18, 19, your 19, 20, your 20, 21, etc. And they would have been like deserving more of Lewis Dunk this season. Don't get me wrong, he's been quality this season. He's solid seven, eights out of tens every game, really, apart from maybe Luton and a couple others, but and maybe Roma actually. Um, but yeah, it's probably not been his best season, but he's, he's still been really, really good. All right, next is our first absolute class category. Jan Paul Van Hecker. He's just rose from the thing. Like, I remember watching him at Newcastle last season, Newcastle away. He was rubbish, but all of a sudden he's turned into this top class quality player. And he's, it's so weird. Like, he's been really, really good. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of him, I think. His injury was costly towards the end of the season for us. I mean, we were rubbish at the end of the season last year anyway. But yeah, um, I'm a big fan of him. I think he is really, really good. And uh, I'm just glad. I just hope he doesn't leave. I can see him going to Marseille now that Deserby's at Marseille because he's transformed. Deserby has transformed Van Hecker into bang average to an absolute world-class player. He's very, very underrated and should have been in that Netherlands squad. Next, I believe that is Purvis Hester Pinyan, and for me, he goes in decent again. Maybe Mayor, decent. Last year, he was so, so good. This year, he's a bit like every player, really. They've all dropped off. I mean, we've not, we, weren't this, we weren't very good last year. I think we'd all admit that. We weren't as good as we could be. But yeah, he's bang average. Played a couple of decent games. Played a couple of horrible games. Looting away, like pretty much every other player in this squad. Yeah, he's all right, I suppose. Joel Veltman, another one in decent. He's not done really. He's not done anything really that bad. But he's not really done anything to stand out. Again, like Dunkey, he's just solid seven, eight out of ten every game. I think that's I think that's fair to say. Valentin Barco, I'd say decent again. There's going to be a lot of decent towards. Obviously, signed him in January, so it's a bit unfair on him. But then when he's played, even at Man City, his first game was Man City at home, which is. Throwing him right into the deep end. And he, I know we lost 4-1, but he looks all right, like, for his first game of the Prem. And then uh, Chelsea at home when he came on as a sub, he was quality. I think you can see a real player in him there, which is very, very good. James Milner. <sighs> I put him in there. I saw, like, oh, my goodness, some performances where he got absolutely rinsed. Ajax at home, he was good. Spurs at home, he was very, very good because you put him into midfield. But there are other games, like... I don't even know what game it was, but there's been games where we played him at fullback and he has been absolutely rinsed and wasn't very good. <laughs> Sonny March is an interesting one. I'd probably say decent just because of the fact that his first couple of games he played were really, really good. As soon as we lost him, the season wasn't really the same. Uh, Sonny March is a quality player. In this, when he's playing under Zerbi, really, really good. First couple of games of the season, he was really good, but then obviously got an ACL injury, which isn't really his fault. Billy Gilmore, for me, has been absolute class. I think in midfield, he's, he's not obviously the tallest of person, he's, but he's, you know, his ball control and his player, like he can play, like he knows the part three, three times before it even happens. So I think Billy Gilmore has been very, very good. I mean, last year he didn't really get the opportunity to play as much, but this year he's filled in and played really, really well. Pascal Gross, absolute class. This is Pascal Gross we're talking about. Every season, he is up there with player of the season. He has been so good for us recently. I know there's rumours of him leaving. I think he is He's just, just quality. I'm a really big fan of Pascal Gross. I don't want him to go, but then you can't really refuse a move like Dortmund, especially being German. But now, um, assist every other game, like, save us, saves us with assist. Like, to mention Everton at home, so good. 
Adam Lallana, obviously now gone to Southampton. Eh, meh. He's alright, solid, I suppose. It's not he didn't really do anything this season, did he? Really, he didn't play a lot. Um, when he played, he was alright, I guess. But he's just outgrown Brighton. He's we've outgrown him. Sorry, like I know when we had when we first got him, he's like quality player, he's top. But now he's just we've got better players in that position, and it's probably the right move for the right idea for him to move. Yakamoda, probably mayor. Obviously, coming back from an ACL injury this season, not going to be easy. And he's done alright, I suppose. He's been he's been average, I suppose. Like there's nothing really that good to him, like this season. But he still there's still a player in him. I know that because before he got injured, he was looking really good. And you, there's been little glimpses this season of his quality. But you know he's not. He came back what in like January or February. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't ideal for him. Carlos Belieba. He's not played enough to be very good, but decent. I think Belieba for his first season in the Premier League, he's looked quality. I think Burnley away, I know he made that mistake, but I think he was really, really good at Liverpool at home. His performances like that, those little little glimpses. And I think next this season with Her- under Hertzler, it's going to be massive for him. I think he's going to be quality. Hopefully getting their number eight shirt. But yeah, he's going to be quality. Matoma for me, very good. The first half of the season, really, really good. And then we, we completely missed him that second half of the season. We were... We were we were relying on him. We wanted him back sooner, but obviously he wasn't. I don't know what game he got injured, but yeah, ever since then, really, we were missing him. And he's, he's quality. He's so good. Like when he's on the ball, you know he's beating his player. And I'm looking forward to him next season. He's going to cook next season. Facundo Buenonote for me, maybe not very good, but decent. I think Buenonote is a really criminally underrated player. I think. Even playing out wide, he's alright. I think he's better in the ten. But out wide, you know, he he puts his he he works really really hard, and I appreciate a player who works. And yeah, he was really he's been. I think he's underrated. I think obviously he's not chipped in with a lot of goals or assists, but I think I think next season it could be Buonanotte's year. But I'm I'm a big fan of Buonanotte. I think he's he look he looked good. He's looked good in a couple of games. But yeah. He plays like deep when he plays in like midfield, like deep neck, almost like a Pascal Gross role. I think he's better like that than he is out wide or in the ten. Well, that's just me personally. Jack Hinsewood, I know you're all gonna say he's played like three games, but for his first season in the Premier League, Jack Hinsewood's goal to game ratio, I think he scored like three goals in like ten games or something. Especially when playing right back or left back, which isn't even his natural position. I think he's better there than when he is at centre mid. I mean, he played centre mid at Villa away. Don't talk about Villa away. Um, I think for his first season in the Premier League, he's looked quality. And I'm looking forward to him next season. Obviously, him getting the injury wasn't great. We missed him massively, but I'm a big fan of Jack Hinsewood. Jao Pedro, what a first season. It, well, it's not his first season in the Premier League, but, but what a first season for Brighton. 20 goals. No player has ever done that in the Premier League for us. You're all going to say pen merch and whatever. But, you know, we've relied, Brighton fans will agree with me this, We've always got penalties right, but we've never been confident. I mean, with Ali Mack, we were right with Alexis McAllister, but like, you like to Mope, Gross occasionally missed a couple. Mope, who else? Murray missed a few. Um, Mope, don't get me started. Trossard, don't get me started on them. Um, but yeah, Jao Pedro is cold. He's cold as ice. Like, he is. I just don't know how to explain. Like, when he steps up for a penalty, you know he's going to score. Barring Villa or a Villa at home, which he scored the rebound, so like it's still still was alright. But you know, he is sharp. He, it's not just about his goal scoring. You know, he works really really hard, and I appreciate that. Um, but no, I'm a big fan of Jao Pedro. I missed him massively when he was injured for that big chunk of time. Julio and Inciso, decent. I don't know he's been injured for a lot of the season. He actually may be very good if we're going off of those Wolves and Luton performances. But no, when we had Wolves away, he was quality and then obviously got injured and just, just struggled to get into the eleven a bit more. But I can I'm again, there's another player I'm looking forward to next season. Danny Welbeck for me has been very good. Relied on him a lot. I think for his age he's he scored what's he scored? Like five goals, which isn't a lot for a striker, but I think when he plays deeper behind Jao Pedro or them together, really, really good. Uh, big fan of Danny Welbeck and I think He's vital. I'm so happy we've kept him. I think he's vital for us. Simon Odingra for me, very good. I know there's been rumours of him off to Marseille and people are happy with it. I think 
poor Rodinga has been, you know, have, has to fill in for the, you know, the Matoma role off the left when he's probably more of a right winger or the other way around, I can't really remember. I think Adinga's start to the season was really good. I think he's been quality. I mean, he's won the AFCON, got to assist man of the match in the final, so he can't be tragic, can he, really? Uh, I think for his first season in the Premier League, he's been very, very good. And I don't want him to go to Marseille because we need him. I like him. Evan Ferguson would probably admit himself that it's not been a good season for him. He's just been really... I mean, he got injured again. Story of everyone getting injured. He's just been very on and off, really. I mean, he scored a couple of goals, like a hat-trick against Newcastle, but we thought this season would be a lot better for him than it was, like, score more goals at the start of the season because, obviously, last year he started in January and was firing, but I think he scored more goals last year than he did this year. But, yeah, maybe Fergie next year could cook. Who knows? And Sue Fatty for me. I know he's gone. I know he's only alone, but, oh, my God, he was... Actually, you know, maybe we'll put him in there. There were some performances, like Ajax at home, Man City away, that he looks really, really, really good. But soon as, like, I don't know what the turning point is, but, oh, my God, there were so many games where he was tragic, like, not worth anywhere near the money. And, yeah, just, just really, I know we didn't pay, but, you know, for the loan fee, and I just don't think he'll really, which is unfortunate because he was a wonder kid, but I don't think he'll have much of a career. If, if you're going to ask me, I think he might have moved to Saudi, which is not the great way to go, but oh well. Uh, I believe that is Baker Boaty. Meh. He's come off the bench a couple of times, looked a bit, looked all right, but he's just not started again. You can't really judge him. Uh, so yeah, that's that's all the players. So yes, guys, that is the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash a like, subscribe and comment. Look at me doing two, two videos in two days. Uh, there probably won't be one for tomorrow because I can't be asked. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is this is start of something. You know, a bit more, a bit more consistently. But yeah, hope you did go and enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to smash like, subscribe, comment. Have I got anyone wrong in this list? Please do tell me. But yeah, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one and up the Albion.